Hi, it's Richard Dwyer. DigitalAssetLife.com, a free site. GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site. Today is Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. Let's talk cryptocurrency. An opportunity. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now it used to be that if I wanted to stake a coin, let's say Dash for example, I had to be clever. I had to know how to hire a staking service. I had to have a certain amount of the coin in my wallet. Perhaps I had to run what was called a master node, which took time and effort to set up. Right, The early stakers had to jump through some hoops to get the passive income. Well, believe it or not, the world has changed. You now have some crypto exchanges that see themselves as banks where all you have to do to get a passive rate of return to get interest on your crypto investment is to have an account with them and allow them to hold on to a relatively small amount of your cryptocurrency let me also point out too that some of these exchanges are paying out interest in a way that the interest is able to accumulate a lot faster than it does in the legacy finance fiat currency world. Let's name names. So right now on Celsius, and you want to do some research, your own research, on the exchanges I mention here. Right? Understand, nothing I say here should be construed as financial advice. Everyone here should be adult. They need to think for themselves. They need to have their own advisors. But on Celsius, believe it or not, if you have one of about 10 to 15 cryptocurrencies, and if you go to Celsius.com, they have a list of what they're offering right if you have one of the cryptocurrencies that they pay interest on you'll find out that once you make a deposit they start paying you interest weekly understand the way it works let's say I have a hundred dollars worth of a crypto with Celsius let's say and I'm using round numbers here let's say Celsius is paying me six percent annually right well just understand that comes to six dollars annually on the 100 right broken down per month let's say I get 50 cents per month broken down per week we will simplify things we will claim it's four weeks right then that would be about twelve and a half cents a week well, just to understand, after one week, I don't have to wait longer. Celsius will pay me 12 and a half cents. Then the next week, they'll pay me the interest on the $100 and 12 and a half cents that I've accumulated after the first week. And folks, it will compound like that throughout the year. So, whatever annualized interest rate they quote you, just understand you're getting it fast. You don't have to have your money with Celsius that long to start earning interest. And it's compounding faster than it would in the fiat currency world. Well, let's open this up a bit. There is another cryptocurrency exchange. This one is publicly traded. Let me give you the trading symbol. It's VYGVF. In other words, it's VYGVF. It's called Voyager. And Voyager right now allows you to 
we'll put it in quotes, stake something like more than 30 cryptocurrencies. They're paying very generous rates. Now, unlike Celsius, you have to hold your crypto in Voyager for a month before you get paid interest. But understand, setting yourself up to get paid interest is as simple as putting a small amount of the cryptocurrency literally one one hundredth in terms of Bitcoin where they're paying you more than five percent interest per year you can start earning interest on your Bitcoin investment if you have one one hundredth of a Bitcoin right now Bitcoin of course is richly valued but for cheaper cryptocurrencies you can start staking with a crypto amount that's just a few dollars, twenty dollars or so. Right? You want to research Voyager. The key too is since they're publicly listed, understand rather than risk your financial future on the financial prospects of one particular coin, you can actually go hold the entire exchange. and of course make money off the capital appreciation right understand too to be publicly listed a company has to pass legislative scrutiny right regulatory scrutiny Voyager already has now, given that there are many out there, Kathy Wood, for example, of ARC, who are gung-ho into Coinbase, you need to ask yourself, what is Coinbase offering that's above and beyond what Voyager is offering? And I would argue not much. Folks, I deal with a few exchanges. I'll just say that in terms of its interface, Voyager has one of the best. You can download the app on Google Play Store. Right? You don't have to have any coins on Voyager to actually enjoy the way the app gives you the prices, gives you the opportunity to look at price changes that have taken place in the last hour of course as well as in the last day in the last week right you can also reorder the cryptocurrencies on their app so when you open the app the first crypto prices you see are the ones that interest you right I think right now let's go beyond owning coins I think you want to own the Voyager exchange right understand if you talk to 10 people six or seven of them will tell you that the best investment in the cryptoverse is Bitcoin right that's if they value decentralization if they don't they might name something else right Ethereum because a lot of uh, ERC 20 tokens are on it uh, baby Binance chain again another proof of stake validator based chain and things like that but understand almost everyone who's bullish on a particular coin in the cryptoverse believes that eventually the cryptoverse is going to drain legacy finance of a lot of its financial resources that the general market cap of the cryptoverse is going to continue to grow right now it's about two trillion dollars right owning an exchange gives you an opportunity to participate in that upside so even if you're wrong about a particular coin let's say avalanche is the coin that takes over and because of network effects it leapfrogs the other coins let's say cosmos which we'll talk about a little bit more is a coin that takes over right and not Bitcoin let's say ripple loses its lawsuit to the SEC 
and doesn't grow as expected. You know, you're covered if you own the entire exchange, right? If you own Coinbase. I'm not talking about an index fund, by the way. I'm talking about just owning the app that people use to buy and sell the various cryptocurrencies. Voyager is one of the best on the market. Understand, at a time when Binance is under regulatory scrutiny, right? At a time when the state of New Jersey is looking into some of the outfits, BlockFi, for example, just understand that Voyager has already passed regulatory scrutiny such that it is publicly listed. Again, the symbol is VYGVF. Again, it's VYGVF. I think this platform has huge upside. Now, let's talk about a transaction I tried to do the other day. I tried to move some Polygon from another wallet over to Voyager because Voyager was paying interest. And all I had to do was move some small amount of Polygon to start earning interest on it. I believe they were paying something like 4% or so. Double check me on that. Well, of course, because Polygon is an ERC20 token, a token that runs on the Ethereum chain. My holder of the Polygon, the exchange I was on, wanted to charge me an arm and a leg to transfer a relatively small amount of Polygon to Voyager. Right, so I did the math and I realized that the small amount of Polygon that I wanted to transfer to Voyager would get this much interest. And the transaction fee of doing the transfer would cost me several months of interest payments. In other words, the viability of the transaction no longer existed. I'm surprised and I'm an Ethereum holder, right? Because I got it when it was cheap. But I'm surprised that Ethereum is still able to charge the gas fees they're charging in 2021. Well, let's talk about a coin. You already know about Solana. You already know about Avalanche. Let's talk about another Ethereum competitor, which has been doing quite well and has been around for a long time. The platform is called Cosmos. The fees are much less, much less than Ethereum fees. In other words, for the transaction that I was trying to do yesterday, Cosmos probably would have cost me a penny. I wish I were making this up. Not the 10 bucks or so that they wanted to charge me. Right, just to understand that Cosmos, whose token is called Atom, A T O M, you could already store Cosmos on a Ledger cold storage wallet. Let me also point out, too, that on multiple exchanges, Binance.us, Voyager, you can receive interest on your Cosmos. Well, in the last three months, the market has caught on to the fact that you have more than 200 decentralized applications running on Cosmos. Right, folks, the meat is on the bone. The platform is being used. So the price of Cosmos over the last three months has gone from about $9 and change a coin to about forty dollars it's a 4x over the last three months 
and understand what makes Cosmos so interesting. It's that one of the features of the coin is what they call an interchain, which allows you to connect to different blockchains. I think Cosmos has legs. So do a lot of people because right now it's in the top 30 of all market caps in the cryptoverse. I believe one of the stories of this summer is the emergence of Ethereum competitors. I think people are starting to realize that they could get smart contract capability away from Ethereum and that they don't have to wait for Ethereum 2.0. <coughs> Cosmos has been around. Again, the coin token is Atom, A-T-O-M. You can get passive income in addition to capital gains on Cosmos by simply storing it on Voyager, Binance.us, and a few other exchanges. I believe it's worth a look. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there are other coins that interest you, let us know about them in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.